Keep it 100. Yeah. Are you a top five NFL wide receiver? I definitely think I'm top 10. Um, I think I have the potential to be top five. I think I'm right on the cusp of that. I'm hoping that we can find that guy at the position, the, uh, the, the wide receiver, I mean, the quarterback position, to where you could gain that, that synergy, that consistency. Right. Because I believe I have the talent to be in the top five. I don't think there's anybody that I would claim that's in that top five who's just overall more talented than I am, that knows the game help more. You keep it real. You got to you know have saying? somebody to get you, you the ball. Exactly. To take you over that Exactly. Hump. And we believe you You have that top five Definitely. talent. So my boy Scurry Terry thinks he has the potential to be a top five wide receiver. Let's talk about it. YouTube, what's going on? It's Warren Gotti here. We enter the Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with the video where we're going to be talking about Terry McLaurin thinking he has the potential to be a top five wide receiver. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload new content like this to the channel. One or the 6,000 subscribers. And please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. So, today, Terry McLaurin was featured on the video, The Pivot Podcast, that is hosted by Ryan Clark, Freddie Gibbs, and Chan. They have the Pivot Podcast, and surprisingly, they did a Terry McLaurin jump. I came across it because I seen it on Terry's Instagram. Like, I saw, like, uh, the video, now, and I didn't watch it fully. I just scrolled and saw Terry McLaurin's Instagram page, and I instantly knew it was the Pivot Podcast because I saw the quality, and I saw the interview. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's the Pivot for sure. They got the best podcast in the game. You know what I'm saying? When it, when it comes to sports-wise, you know? So, shout out to them boys, man. They doing it big. Terry McLaurin was on there today, and they talked a lot about some some good things, you know, personal life, stuff like that. So if y'all haven't watched that already, I urge you to go watch it. I'm super excited for Turi, man, because he, he finally getting the recognition that he deserved. You know what I'm saying? Turi definitely been a deserving to have the recognition that he's getting now. You know, and I'm just excited that he's finally getting it. Um, but in specific part of the segment of the show, um, Turi was basically asked, "Hey, keep it a buck with you." This from this from Freddie. He was like, "Man, uh." Are you a top 10 receiver in the NFL or top 5 receiver in the NFL? Terry was like, I'm top 10 for sure. But I'm right on the cusp of being a top 5 receiver. All the, it's, it's all about can we get consistent at the quarterback play. So I'm like, ooh, okay. You wanna, and, I, and, and my respect, I already respected Terry throughout the roof. You know what I'm saying? My, my respect for Terry was all the way up here. But it shot up even more. You want to know why? Because most guys would be like, yeah, I'm top five for sure. But Terry kept it real. And he sounded like a fan when he said it. That's what we That's what we all say. We all say, yeah, Terry for sure could be a top five receiver. It's just all about his quarterback play. Terry said the same thing. He said, I'm top ten for sure. We all know Terry top ten for sure. But top five, he has the potential to, like Terry said. And he said, I got the potential to be a top five. But I know I haven't necessarily... Uh, got the opportunities like these other guys got to show that I can be top five. He said, "Now when it comes to talent, I'm up there for sure." You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not. I know I'm top five when it comes to talent, but production-wise, it hasn't been able to get shown because we don't have the quarterback play here in Washington yet. That other guys like AJ Brown, you know, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, uh, Tyreek Hill, all of them guys got right. So Terry humbly kept it real, and, and I was so happy he said it because that's what we were saying. You know, and, and, and even if Terry was was to say, yeah, man, uh, I'm, a, I'm top five for sure. You know, even if he was to say that, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, his, I'm one of his biggest fans. He's my favorite player on the Commanders, and he's obviously my favorite team. I would have backed him for sure. You know what I'm saying? I would have I would have been like, okay, Terry thinks he, he's a top five receiver. I ain't going to knock it. You know, but the fact that he actually went out there and kept it, like, all the way 100 and was like, yeah, I got the potential to be. It's just all about the quarterback play. That just made me want him to get 1,500 yards that much more all pro season. I already feel like he can do it. But the fact that he was that humble about it, man, I just love Terry, bro. Like, I know we all love Terry, bro, but, like, listening to that whole podcast, and I watched it from start to finish, bro. Listening and watching that whole podcast, that just make you love Terry even more, bro. Like, really, like, 
I know Terry got all the money in the world, but if Terry, if I saw Terry in person, I would, I would offer to buy him lunch, bro. He's one of those kind of guys. You know, and I know he doesn't need it, you know, but I would, I, that's how he is. He's the guy that give you the shirt off his back. You know what I'm saying? When I get a dog, I might name him Turd. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Another dog, I might name him Turd. You know, that? that's just the kind of guy he is, bro. I, I, put it in reverse, Terry. <laughs> oh, man, that, that just made me super excited. I ain't gonna lie. You know, to hear that. Now, let's talk about, the. the he said he's top 10 for sure. That's no question. But top five, what is it going to take for Terry McLaurin to be top five? If you want me to be completely honest with you, bro, Terry just got to go out there and continue to do what Terry does. It's not nothing he can do. All he can hope is the quarterback position stays stable. Because think about it. Terry has put up 1,000 yards the last three seasons of his career. He would have had 1,000 yards in his rookie year if he never got hurt towards the tail end. But last three years, he put up 1,000 yards. Listen to these quarterbacks. Dwayne Haskins, may God rest his soul. One-legged Alex Smith. Taylor Heineke. Gerd Gilbert. Carson Wentz. Kyle Allen. Right? Those are all the quarterbacks Terry McClellan's played with um, since 2020. Obviously, I could have said Case Keenum, too. You know, Ryan Fitzpatrick. But that, Ryan Fitzpatrick played a half. <laughs> he was done for the year. You know what I'm saying? So... Terry McLaurin saying that he's a top 10 with the potential to be a top 5, I 100% agree. Because he definitely does. And this is not me being a Washington Commanders fan. Take, move this background, take off the Washington Commanders hat, you know, that, that you see me wear often, and, and be a fan. This is real NFL knowledge talking to you. Terry McLaurin legitimately has the talent and uh, potential to be a top 5 receiver. It's all about can he get that consistent quarterback play. Like, love Justin Jefferson, man. He a, he a dog. You know what I'm saying? Jamar Chase, dog. A.J. Brown, dog. But what is one thing that those guys all got in common? They have their guy. They have their guy. Turry has not had his guy yet. When Terry McLaurin gets his guy, okay, and... I think it's Sam Howell. I'm hoping it's Sam Howell. When Terry gets his guy, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's another gear he can reach. I'm talking 1,500 yards, Pro Bowl year, potentially all pro. I'm talking about Terry gets his guy. He's in the conversation for best wide receiver in football. With Justin Jefferson, with 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 Jamar Chase, with with uh Tyree Hill, with AJ Brown. Okay, he's in those discussions. Can he get? Can he have his guy? That's all. That's all. That's all we gotta worry about. And ask. Can he has his guy? I don't worry about Terry McLaurin getting a thousand yards anymore. As long as Terry McLaurin and one seven is healthy and he's out there, but I pray to God, please keep him healthy. As long as he's out there, I don't care who's behind the under center. He's going to get 1,000 yards. But it takes some special kind of connection and bond with your quarterback to get you that 1,500 plus double-digit touchdowns. And when he spoke to, he spoke about Eric Bieniemy multiple times in the, in the, in the podcast. I know how Terry feels about Eric Bieniemy. With EB coming here, man, I think that's just going to open it up even that much more. Like... He was able to not only do what he's done so far in his career with, with subpar quarterback play, but Scott Turner was his offensive coordinator. Scott Turner was trash. I mean, it was times that we know watching the game, Turry hasn't had a target. Why do we ever go a whole half without targeting our best player on the team? That should never be the case. When Terry McLaurin got... Eight receptions for 100 yards. It was surprising to us. It was shocking because it didn't happen. But so, um, but rarely because Scott Turner failed to give him the ball. We shouldn't feel like that. Every week, Terry McLaurin should be getting the ball at least, at least eight times, bro. Like at least, and that's that's catching. Target wise, he should have at least 15 targets a game. No question, bro. 
Like, Terry, a hundred yard games should be like that. Okay, and I know every week he's not gonna get get a hundred yards, but it's not like he hasn't been able to get a hundred yards because somebody's shutting him down. It's because his quarterback doesn't look his way, or he hasn't had a quarterback that give him the ball, or he hasn't had an offense coordinator to draw it up. Us as fans, we should not feel surprised that Terry's got a hundred yard game. It should be like clockwork. Oh, Terry got another hundred yard game. That ain't no. We we all know that's what he do week in and week out. Terry has the talent and potential. There's no reason why he should be going three receptions for 45 yards. You know, five receptions for 62. A whole half of not getting targeted. Three receptions for 28 yards. That, we're talking about Terry F. M. McClellan, bro. He should have a minimum of eight targets. And a half, bro. And a half. Hey, my dog Terry said he he top ten. And he has the potential to be top five. He just need that consistency at the quarterback play. So Sam Howe, we all behind you, my dog. We hoping that you are that guy that we've been desperately needing here in Washington to lead us into the future. So with that being said, let me know what you guys about this video in the comment section down below. Do y'all agree with Terry? Do y'all think Terry could be a top five receiver? It's just all about the consistency. Where the quarterback position is what he's been needing. Let me know what you guys about this video in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to check out the Pivot Podcast. Watch that whole entire jump by itself and hear Terry um, talking about a lot of things. As always, man, boy, one got it. Like, comment, subscribe. Hail to the Washington Commanders. One of the 6,000 subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. See y'all later. Peace.